Oi, pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? Então, hoje eu vou falar sobre um tópico um pouco diferente. Um tópico sobre adoecer 10 ruins, bad days, in English. Essentially, this topic is about when people date outside of their own culture and the kind of problems that occur with whether it's like just cultural differences or languages, things like this. So what I did, I posted on my Instagram for people to send me their stories. Obviously with my followers being mostly Brazilian, my idea was to try and receive stories about dates with primarily British people, but also kind of Europeans. It's kind of interesting to see how it is for you guys, if you've any of you guys from Brazil have dated outside of your culture, whether it's British people or Europeans or, or, or it could be you know people from anywhere in the world. Uh, so I have some stories that I will read and give my opinions on. As someone who is dating a Brazilian girl, I've experienced some kind of, you know, cultural difficulties. I would not necessarily cultural difficulties, but for me it's initially the language barrier that occurs when you first start dating because you have to, it takes a while to get used to each other's kind of, well, language. I'm going to try my best to read the stories all in Portuguese. Some of the words I may not have seen before, so I might get some wrong, but <laughs> it, will, it, will, it will help me with my, my reading skills as well. So it's also a productive video. As always, Angie's do come aside, say subscribe to my channel. E, me signal on Instagram, Valley Paul Jake. That I'm like, por favor. Click the thumbs up. Vamos começar. Primeira história. Eu saí com um britânico e, e foi incrível, incrível. Ele me tratou como uma princesa, conversamos por horas, ficamos e tal. Pensei ser um encontro de almas. Porém, no outro dia ele parou de me responder. Muito fresa. Mandei um áudio e ele nunca ouvi. Como assim? Nem, co nem curiosidade de saber o que é. In this instance, this girl has dated a British guy and he's done, we call this, we call this ghosting. And it's basically when someone disappears. I'm sure you have some kind of slang for this in Brazil as well. I don't actually think this relates to him being British. I think this is just a common trait that some people do. People get cold feet they get into dates and all of a sudden they think I'm not too sure if I want to pursue this and it's the cowardly act of not confronting the person and telling them that and they just disappear. I'm not going to say this is a British trait, I think it's a common trait for just people in general and it doesn't really come down to a nationality. Okay, próximo. Eu conheci um inglês e sempre que ir, ir para casa dele levava comida brasileira para ele e o avô. That's kind. Bolos e até coxinha. Mm. Eu já fiz para eles. Eles adoravam. Também. Assim, ele ia falar coxinha e alguns pa palavrão. Palavrões. Tá na hora de palavrões. Mas veio o lockdown e não nos encontramos mais porque o avô dele e de cubra de risco. Então, perdemos a conexão. Uh, e há pouco tempo ele mandou mensagem para mim de novo e perguntei se ele estava com sentir falta de mim e ele falou que sentia mais falta da caixinha ah. <laughs> it's funny the first Brazilian food my girlfriend introduced me to was also caixinha caixinha can cause some problems huh <laughs> they always say a way to a man's heart is through food. So if you're feeding this guy Brazilian food, yeah, I can understand where his uh, feelings were in this situation. <laughs> I think that this guy was actually missing her. The thing is with British people, this is what we call, this is our type of banter. When I think this guy likes her and he's just making a joke that he prefers, he actually misses the Kashinya more than he misses her. He's not being serious and I hope that this girl doesn't take this guy's comments seriously. Because for me, this is typical British banter. Simple as that. But Kashinians are really good though. Someone sent me this. Said, my God, my last date I went with a British guy. He fired in front of me. He fired. This is unacceptable in Brazil, especially in the first dates. <laughs> oh God. That, this 
message, I get the impression that this girl thinks that this occurred because she dated a British guy and the cultural difference was that it appeared that farting was acceptable. I must make clear, farting on a first date or on any date for that matter, farting in general, is just not very nice and they, no, it's not accepted here. She said this is unacceptable in Brazil. It's unacceptable here too, trust me. If anyone fired on the first day, that's, nah, that's bad. That's disgusting. It's not, it's not normal here. Please do not spread this kind of rumor that you went on a date with a British guy and he fired and it was completely normal. And then she goes back to Brazil and goes, yeah, I went on a date in, in England and uh, did you know it's completely normal that they fart on the first date? This is how stereotypes and bad rumors start. Quando estávamos planejando moro juntos em Goiânia, ele resolveu comprar um fogão. Porque eu gosto de cozinhar, ele perguntou a um amigo qual massa tinha com bom custo benefício. E o amigo disse que a massa taco era boa. Ele quis uh, perguntar a mais amigo, só que ele perguntou, taco é bom? E as pessoas perguntavam, que? E ele, estou perguntando se taco é bom. <laughs> right, I know this because... I've seen some like expressions, Brazilian Portuguese, and daku is one of them, right? Daku, it means anus. And he's like, the anus is good. <laughs> this is a classic case of lost in translation. That happens, that happens. It's, it's the fun side of dating outside of your, your culture and your language. There's another story, so it's, it's about an American guy dating a Brazilian girl, and she says, Uma vez meu ex que era americano ficou sem bateria no carro que estava no estacionamento uh, subterrâneo. Subter subter ah, oh, God, this word. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a car park, isn't it? It's an underground car park. I think. I can't say that word. Subterrâneo. Subterrâneo. Ah, oh, it's difficult. De um shopping que trabalhava aqui no Rio, eu tinha falado no telefone que ia precisar de uma chupeta de alta bateria. Apareceu uma mulher toda gostosa com roupa de academia e ele virou, virou uh, para ela e perguntou. Ah, this is the same guy with the daku. This is like, he must be traumatized by trying to communicate. He said, oi, você pode me fazer uma chupetinha? I don't know what this means, but... At this point of the story, I feel like this is something embarrassing. A mulher achou que ele era tarado. Tarado? Tarado? Ah, I think it's tarado. A mulher achou que ele era tarado. Tarado? I think it's tarado. Ele percebeu uh, que estava dizendo algo muito errado e saiu correndo para o carro para mostrar os cabos. Aí ele, ela atendeu e ajuda. Ellie. A chupachinha. I don't know what this is, but so from this story it seems that he was asking for the cables to, to be able to start the car again. And he's asked this woman for a chupachinha. I don't know what that means, but someone needs to explain to me what chupachinha is in the comments. Next story. It says, Lembro que no primero encontró con un americano. Ele estaba muito nervoso y derrumó suco na mina roupa. Quando estávamos tendo relações sexuais, ele só falava em inglês. Não entendi nada. A gente tinha que usar o Google Tradutor. Tratu tratu this is the part that confuses me, right? It says he only spoke English during sex. They went on a date. What language was they speaking before? Because how come when it came to the moment of sex, you suddenly couldn't understand English? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I, I'm not even going to get into details. But there's more questions that need to be asked in this story. And the fact that she said we had to use Google Translator, this is so weird, right? Like, she's implying that they use Google Translator while having sex. Interesting. That's interesting. And she has a nervous story. Lembro de outro encontro com um grego. Foi tudo legal e tranquilo, mas na hora, H. I don't know what this H means, but, oh, little, Chicken emoji, Deli now sabio. Deli dizzy que estava nervoso quando fui ao banheiro, ele estava chorando. 
e o Nemo sabia o que fazer, tá Shame. She didn't know what to do. Yeah. You just have to play it cool, you know? You have to stand by the men in this case, because this can happen to anyone. And in this case, she didn't know what to do, just, you know, comfort the guy. He was upset, he was nervous, just comfort the guy. What, what, what else can you do? Don't worry about it, it's not the end of the world. Try again another day. So, proximo historia. Sobre um francês. Ok, so it says, Eu saí como um francês antes de começar essa pandemia. Pandemia. Essa pandemia. Eu fiquei one hora no banho e me arrumando para ficar bonito e cheiroso. Quando eu cheguei na casa dele, ele me recebeu na porta só de short e com um cigar cigarro na mão. <laughs> It's like something out of a film, no? A French guy turns up in his shorts smoking a cigarette. Tinha passado o dia inteiro em blocos de carnaval. Tava cheio de pupin... Po? Puporinha. 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 Até no cabelo e com cheiro de cachaça. Depois... <laughs> depois... Os franceses não gostam quando falamos que eles não tomam banho. Mas a história não acabou ali. Depois, quando a gente foi se beijar e o clima foi escravo. Esquentando, esquentando, eu falei, a gente só vai fazer mais se você toma banho. Fair enough, is fair deal, I say. Ele disse, mas eu tomei banho. <risos> eu disse que ele não tinha tomado porque estava fedendo as cachaça e com poupurinha até no cabelo. He said he took a shower, but he's still dirty. Ele ficou, uh, ele ficou three minutes, three minutos, uh, demando comigo, dizendo que tomou banho quando era ouviu que não. Aí eu desisti e seguimos em frente. This is a lot of Portuguese for me right now. A relação não do, durou nem um minuto. Sério. E ele já tinha a capital. Well, this doesn't help, like, this reputation and stereotype of Europeans not taking showers, you know? This French guy is not helping us. What can I say to this? Mm, it sounds to me like there's a stereotype about French people, and this guy is ticking all those boxes. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but I'll be honest. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I'll just say I'm not surprised about this French guy's story. That's all I'm going to say. <sighs> okay, a little short story for us next. Ela foi ter relações com um gringo e gritou na hora. Ah, this hora H is like the, the, the sex hour. I don't know what H means. I don't know how this represents sex in Portuguese, but someone can explain that to me in the comments. Okay, so, ela foi ter relações com um gringo e gritou na hora of sex. Fuck you. Uh, ela não fala inglês. <laughs> so she was trying to say, fuck me, and she said to him, fuck you. Yeah, it's a complete opposite meaning to say, that <laughs> if you're gonna say that during sex and the poor guy is probably thinking what the hell am i doing wrong <laughs> is this good or bad another story of uh translation issues maybe she should do like the other go and uh use google translator during sex como se a nomara um tokoro no canada in faith ah yeah Okay, I'm gonna cut to the chase with this story. No general, general, no general, ele era super legal até ser contrariado. Uh, aí era exatamente grosso e rude. Rude. Say rude. <laughs> It's easier. <laughs> e quando eu pedi a minha opinião sobre. Ok, principalmente se eu quero fazer algum pro programa e a pessoa não quer. There's a lot of conflicts here, you know? I just don't think this, this is working, this relationship. Ah, o gran finale. Foi ele implicar com 
os pelos da minha gata. Não queria te sentar no sofá com pelo, disse que eu tinha que limpar. E olha que não atentou para assim, pelo assim, nada muito absurdo, é absurdo. Enfim, termina, terminamos, obviamente. Oh, so she said this was uh, um turco, so it's a Turkish. Yeah, that's kind of sad, he didn't like the cat, what can I say about that? Uh, uh, Turkish complaining about the cat's hair. There's some irony in this. <laughs> Maybe this guy just had a thing against cats. Maybe he was allergic to cats. If he was, he should have just said it. That's strange, but for me personally, I love animals. And if there's a bit of cat fur on the sofa, I have no problem with it. If I'm allergic, then yeah, it's a problem. But I'm not allergic. So it's a bit of cat fur on the sofa. Get over it. Next story. Proximo, proxima historia sobre um inglês. Mina experiencia como inglês. Eles não demonstram se gostam ou não de você. E a pior, falam de sexo deste o primeiro dia. Romantismo passa longe. Ok, so, is an English guy. This is kind of refers to back to what I was saying earlier about the guy who was joking that he misses the cachinha more than he misses the girl. Honestly, this is a problem that I've heard from like other people that I've spoke to. And they said when they stated English people, they don't demonstrate if they like them or not. And in their culture, whether it's from Brazil, Argentina, Spain, Italy, whatever. It always seems that British people are like the people that express their emotions the least, which is hardly surprising. And this, we've already established this. And this also applies in relationships. If you do want to date a British person, you have to look for the small bits, you know, the small bits. If that person jokes around with you a lot, it means they like. People don't understand that and it feels like he doesn't really like, you know, just tell me he likes me. Don't really compliment me enough. Or he compliments me indirectly. This is normal for British people. <laughs> this is normal. With the guy in the casino. He was joking. I know he liked that girl. As for the talking about sex from day one, I feel like this guy was just individually horny. You find yourself a horny guy. Proximo historia sobre un britannico también. Uh, eu estou tentando sair con un britannico até hoje. Ele é tão chevica que pedimos o time do date. Acho que a nossa pequena acabou, mas não sei se ele é reservado, é reservado ou acabou mesmo. Meu Deus, she said. Meu Deus. Okay, so to me, there's two possibilities here. Either he's playing the whole British thing and he's being reserved and he's not expressing interest, just like I explained previously, or he's not interested. This is the fun thing about dating British guys, you just never know. Make the next move, I advise that. Proximo historia sobre franceses, again, de novo. O beijo dos franceses é muito estranho. Eles ficam girando a língua duro que nem um helicóptero. No género, prefiro o beijo dos, bra bra dos brasileiros. <laughs> They do say the French kiss is famous, right? So <laughs> apparently it's like a helicopter. Interesting. I'll just put that one out there for you guys for a little bit of information if you're ever thinking about dating a French person. The kiss could be like a helicopter, apparently. Not much else to say on that. <laughs> this is the last one. The last date. This one feels a little bit controversial. Abadaji now for you I'm denial already, no? Eu conheci o Britânico através de uns amigos em Copacabana. Eles me disseram que ele queria conhecer uma br brasileira típica, estereotipo. What's this guy thinking? What's this guy expecting? When someone says this, I'm, I'm concerned already because you have some expectations and we all know stereotypes are not facts. So, yeah, this is, this is never going to end well. He wants a typical Brazilian. What's a typical Brazilian anyway? Aí eu fui apresentada, mas parece que ele fica um pouco decepcionado. Decepcionado? Decepcionado? Não sei, este palavra. Comigo porque eu não era alegre demais e não sabia sambar. <laughs> What? Oh god, this is terrible. Ele foi embora, trocamos uh, contato. Ele me enviou um caixa cheia de presentes. Jenis? Tá no Jenis? Vestidos que só a Kate Middleton usaria e é um destes religiões chiques. Vários chocolates. Is this real? The 
depois ele uh, des desapareceu. Nunca nos beijamos, nunca tomou in 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 Desculpa, gente, desculpa. Anicitav... Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go Google Translate with this one, because I'm struggling. Initiativa. Oh, Initiativa. It's like Initiative, very close. Initiativa, quando estava aqui. Ainda bem, porque ele bebia amor. <laughs> okay, so this guy's living up to the British stereotype now, is he? <laughs> oh, God. Ah... Uh, Ele parecia que só tinha uma blusa branca. Okay, what can I say about this? This is interesting. So he was a typical Brazilian who sambered. Oh, where did this guy come from? What an idiot. Like, why? Why would you just... I'm going to go to Brazil and meet a girl to samba. It's like, Jesus. What's wrong with these people? Like, they live in the movies, all right? This whole thing about sending a dress that's like Kate Middleton, like, this is very strange for me. This guy, see, I don't know where this guy came from in England. Well, firstly, he drinks a lot. He's British. Surprise, surprise. That doesn't surprise me at all. The next part about the whole thing about going to Brazil and wanting to go to Sambas gives me vibes that he's a little bit ignorant. And the thing about dresses that only Kate Middleton will wear seems like he's a very kind of posh, stuck up, middle class guy. Um, which explains a lot going to Brazil, wants to meet a girl at Sambas and then buys her dresses that are like what Kate Middleton wears. Very strange. So what can I say, what can we all say about those dates? On the topic of stereotypes, some of them do match some stereotypes and probably are quite true. But it's always interesting to read about these stories and hear about stories of when people date outside of their nationality because there always at some point becomes a cultural difference. I've had experiences with mine and you know i've spoke about them in my previous videos about going to brazil and meeting brazilian families and just some cultural differences nothing ever bad for me it's just you know experiences and things that i've not encountered before and it's you kind of have to adapt let me know in the comments if you've ever dated outside of your nationality and it was some kind of you know story to talk about because of cultural differences if you like the video Damn likey, por favor, don't forget to subscribe, se inscreve no meu canal e follow me on Instagram, me siga no Instagram, fale com Jake. Until the next time guys, até mais, até logo, tchau.